In 2023, our family embarked on a new adventure in France. This property will serve as a store location for French Farmhouse Square and our second home. My name is Jessica Lawrence. Come join me on my adventures in France. Get ready for some French farmhouse flair. Okay, we bought this at Brico Depot just to uh, be able to have something to hang our bath towels on for now. So we're gonna hang that up in the bathroom. And my husband just hung this one up in the bathroom so that we can have something to hang our little hand towel on by the sink here for now because we had nowhere else to put it. So this is kind of temporary fixes. Well, I obviously have to take it down uh, when we go to redo the bathroom. But for now, we're just going to get these hung so we have a place to hang our towels so they can air dry and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I think that's a good height, Rob. Well, I will grab the towels and make sure. Okay, that looks like that's gonna be a good height. There's our little stool we have in here. We had the heater because it was cold the last time we were here, but now we bought a fan at the store. I haven't shown you that yet. It's a little bit warmer now this trip, so. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good, huh? Good height. All right, we're only gonna put in three screws because uh, this is temporary till we can pull this wall covering off and uh, remodel this bathroom. So I had to pre-drill all these holes because the walls appear to be either some kind of hard wood. So uh, I couldn't just hand screw these into the wall. I, I had to pre-drill them. And we'll see, you're probably still going to give me a hard time. These are uh, nice metal ones. It almost looks like it's plastic, but it's not, it's metal. I'm gonna put some strength behind it. Yeah, they even pre-drilled them. bathroom we'll have to get a new light for this right now we just have a light bulb hanging and we do need to also find a mirror for this bathroom we have no mirror in here okay so we got our wood that we bought at Brico Depot and we're gonna try to put that in for these panels have to cut these to size and uh, put those in so we can have privacy here in the bathroom because as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, it used to be glass and the glass is broken along the edges so you can see where the glass used to be. And so now we're just trying to put some wood panels in there that we will paint so that we can have privacy in the bathroom. I mean, I thought this was yeah, wood, but this yeah. is actually metal right here. Yeah, and then the, this is the wood part yeah. here. Yeah, I would go ahead and do it. You can do both at the same time. Yeah. So my oldest son, Austin, is uh, going to help us with this project. Bonjour. He's got the safety goggles on just in case because that glass is still in there. Partially still in there. The glass is it coming out? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can hear the so glass sure coming out. Yeah. That's not gonna be a happy surprise. Right. I mean, I'm not sure how to cover this, right? 
Uh, Rob's dad's going to uh, put in the plastic in the tub, I guess, to catch the glass. is taking down the uh, just temporary curtain we had hanging up here on the bathroom door window and we're gonna hang a curtain rod up there so we can hang a curtain for privacy in the bathroom. Got this little rod at the store so that we can install that in the bathroom on that bathroom door window. So that's what we're going to use. <coughs> no. All right, so we're, I'm just going three centimeters off of my door joint and off the top of the door. Okay. For my top holes. Okay, just pull that away. Pull it out. Hopefully, pull it out. So angle it, angle that it, will angle it, angle give, it. Give us enough distance for privacy. Angle it, pull out while you're privacy. telling me. There you go. Okay. Let's take a look before we drill holes. Two boys are working on the window. We're working on the door window here. Because I can't go out too far because the the little knobby on the end. But... Oh, yeah. So hopefully that will give us enough privacy to get it wider than the window. So yeah. it should be okay. Got all too many people in my workspace. <laughs> Easy, killer. <laughs> that drill on our last trip because we needed a drill. Wanted to pull the big guns out, I, huh? No, that <laughs> one that one will put a hole through the uh, basement floor and not through the door. <laughs> All right. All right, assistant. Screw loose. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to start pulling this down then, Dad. Okay. Go ahead. How many, how many Lawrences can we fit in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so see that on my free drill? How much easier. I'm telling you, amateurs out there. Free drill, always. Okay, you need a screw? Yes. There you go. Makes your life so much easier. Everybody likes to use the power drills for that. Oh wow. Great what job. was that? I heard you that. You landed oh. against there, man. You did. I was trying to pull it. You're supposed to lift it. Wait, no. You pulled the thing out, now we got glass everywhere. It's what okay, you... bros. Screws. Screws. Oh, <laughs> I would have laid down on the ground. <laughs> Tristan says he's on the, the bloody side. side. Yeah. <laughs> Tristan's on the bloody side. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened? It just, it fell and it stuff went down the stairs glass, like it, he leaned it against this instead of putting it on the floor. It's like, uh, what do you call that, uh, when you're trying to find more work? Hey bro, is there, is there, is there a sweeper or something yep. you can use? Yep, we, like we have a, a broom. Thank you bro, sorry. And a dustpan and a brand new shop vac. Yeah, we had to buy, we've had to buy so many supplies since we've been here. Uh, 
We've been struggling so much, I don't know if we have one more. Anyways, as I was saying, when you pre-drill, you don't have to use a screw gun for everything. And the nice thing that I like about using a screwdriver is I can feel how much energy is on the fastener because sometimes you can strip your screw heads out if you don't pre-drill with a screw gun. And then if you ever want to take this off, which when we redo this bathroom, all this stuff's gonna come off so we can repaint. And so, yeah. that's what we want. That's, hey Tristan, can you hand me the, the curtain on the drying rack, please? Just the little white one. Yeah, the white one. Yeah, that's a five and one. Oops. curtain professional. There we go. See? We've Ooh, got like the old, plastic oh, down shoot, here in the tub old. to catch the pieces of glass. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about reusing. Do you like put it to hold it in place, the wood piece inside? Except they notched this wood trim, so I don't know, it's kind of a bummer. That's very bummer. Well, does not fit over it, that piece? Oh, I see. It has to go over. Because uh, I was, uh, I mean, we could, I could always fill that with filler and then we sand it. Cause I want to. I only got two panels, so I want to start in the gonna middle. Cut them. Oh, you're gonna cut them in the middle. I'm gonna. Cut I'm, gonna I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna put this one of these back in the middle here. Oh, just one. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yes. Where can I tend this? This stuff they notched. Mm -hmm. This is the good Walsh. The Walsh. Let's see what I Players, so I can pull these little tang nails out of there. Yeah, that's a little cool. Yeah. You do have two kids. Yeah. Uh. This transom window above the bathroom door is broken, so we're going to be putting a new piece of glass in there as well. ladder last time. We just bought this Titan circular saw because we'll be needing that to cut the wood for the window yeah, that the guys are working on right now. So we'll be using that in just a little bit to do some cutting. Spill saw blades, you always want the teeth, the saw runs this direction, so you want the teeth, this is nice, this saw blade actually has an arrow to tell you which way your blade needs to go, but your this the saw runs this way, so you want to make sure that your teeth are pointing that direction. 
didn't buy a fancy blade or anything. Typically, I like to get one with more teeth for um, trim work. But okay. we're just going to work with this guy since it's brand new and hope that it does okay for what I need it to do. And then back here, you push in this, you push in this button here to lock in the saw blade so that you can tighten the, the nut on the front. And voila. So I thought this was kind of a nice feature for a cheaper saw, but this is a, a fence for, for ripping boards. And you can see it has it in centimeters mm -hmm. uh, so that you can, you can like be precise about ripping a board. You, uh, it just slides in. Slides in like that. And then it's you're gonna you I I don't ever trust the actual tape measure. I'll measure from my saw blade to the edge of this fence and then you can get an exact rip on a board without having to freehand it. So that's what makes this nice. Is when you're ripping a long board, you can you can use this for that. So. unless you're very comfortable with the skill saw doing this. But I'm going to repeat the process upside down.
so I'm gonna get ready to cut these wood panels. fitting and then we'll caulk and tack them in. All right, so we're gonna take these down now and caulk them in and I'll use some tack nails to hold them in place for the sealant. That's okay. Up. Oh look, it looks really nice I think. It looks better now because it matches the two panels on either side on the bottom here, Rob. Instead of it used, was three before, so I think it looks much better just as two now. Oh yeah, absolutely. And maybe you, you might want to consider doing some type of wallpaper or you could do some type of uh, picture or something on these panels or something. Maybe something to dress it up, huh? Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. I'll we'll have to think about it. Yeah. Speed of cock on the perimeter. On both sides here. Uh, I'm actually using a exterior grade sealant since this is a bathroom area, so handle the moisture okay all the time until we redo the bathroom. All right, so we got our sealant in. it in. Don't have to be pretty because we're going to sand it because we want to be able to get the molding profile.
Thank you for stopping by to visit me and seeing what we're up to in France. I'll see you next French Friday, friends. Until then, a bientôt. Oh, don't forget to please share, like, and subscribe. That helps out my channel so much. Merci.